In this video, we're going to compute dy and delta y. So let me give you the formulas. So dy is equal to f prime of x dx. So this approximates what's called delta y, which is the change in y. So delta y, the formula, is f of x plus delta x minus f of x. So the idea is that you have some change in y in the graph of your function, and you can use this formula to approximate the change in y. So this is the actual change in y, and this is the approximation to the change in y. So it's a simple approximation method. Now here, y equals x to the fourth plus six, that's actually our f of x. So f of x is equal to this piece here. Let's go ahead and do the dy piece first. So dy is, well, the derivative here is simply 4x cubed dx, right? We don't have to worry about the 6 because its derivative is 0. So now we can be a bit abusive and just plug in the numbers they give us. So here, x is negative 1, so this is 4 times negative 1 cubed, and then dx is 0 0.01, 0 0.01. So this should be uh, negative 4 times 0 0.01, so that's going to be negative 0 0.0400. I'm using four decimals because most of the time in problems, they always ask for four decimals. So just a good thing to do. So there's our dy. That's the uh, approximation to the change in y. Now let's actually find the actual change in y. So delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x. Let's go ahead and plug in those numbers now. So x is negative 1. Delta x is 0 0.01. Just plug them right into the formula, just like that. Minus f of negative 1. Again, just replacing everything with what it is. So x is negative 1. Delta x is 0 0.01. x is negative 1. So this is going to be f of uh, negative 0.99 minus f of negative 1, right? Negative 1 plus 0 0.01 is negative 0.99. All right, so now we go to our formula, to our function formula, the formula for our function. It's this, so we have to put this into our x. So it'll be that to the fourth plus 6 minus parentheses negative 1 to the fourth plus 6. And this is equal to negative 0.0394. If you put this in your calculator, that is the answer that you will get. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there trying to learn how to compute differentials and approximations. That's it.